What's up, bro? Hey, bro. How you doing, bro? Hey, man. Uh, let me tell you, I, I got a rusty pulley on an engine, and it, this thing just won't come off. I mean, I'm a big guy. I bench press 380. I'm at the gym every other day, and I can't even I can't even yank this thing off. I'm about ready to get the Jeep Wrangler on it and see if I can pull it off that way. Yeah, it looks like you've been working out. What are you doing? 12 ounce curls? Hey, look at the guns on you. There's some skinny guns. What do you think? You're funny? Uh. I have a way, it's rusted on there, I, I take it, it's a it, rusty it, part, can't get I, I got a rusty it outside, part on. It's, it, it's been outside for a while, I mean, honestly bro, I just, I just need this pulley off. Alright bro, I, uh, I, I have a surefire way of getting rusty parts off without ruining the part, so you can use the part over again, so uh, if you want, take it, bring it around the back, and I'll get that rusty part off for you. Okay, bro? All right, all right, bro. Okay, all right, all right. bye, bro. Bye, dude. See you, see you, bro, dude. Go around back. Feller came in, can't get that wheel off that tractor. I'm gonna show you a couple of surefire ways to remove rusty parts. You may have a pulley on an engine you can't get off that because it's rusted on there. You may have one of these fan blades on one of these, uh, these leaf suckers. Can't get it off, rust it on there. Or in this case, a wheel. So I'm gonna use this transmission as, a, as an example of getting that wheel off. All right, so what you gotta have, air hammer with chisel point. It's gotta have point on it. And what you do is you put bolt in there. And I already pre-divoted this. Put the air hammer on there. Get some air, pull up on it. Walk it off. Same thing out here. Take this bolt out, take them washers off. You might have to use a longer bolt. Same thing. Put a divot on that bolt. Walk it off. Same one on the engine. Always got to have the bolt in there. Put the impact out or put the air hammer on there. Get it? Walk it off. But if that don't work, then I'll show you how to get it off using oxygen and amphetamine torch. And I'm going to show you because that one on the other side is rusted on there and that one ain't going to come off. We got to use the oxygen and amphetamine torch. Okay, I'll fire up torch. Now, if you're doing a tire, you need to let the air out, because you don't want it to get hot, tire could explode. So let the air out of the tire for safety. Safety first, that's why I got these glasses on. Can't see real good out of these glasses. All right, where, where's the wheel at? I can't, oh, there it is. So heat this up. There ain't no air in here. Now if this was on the track, it'd be like this. Remember let the air on tire. You can always paint the rim later if you're all worried about the paint. It's the only long track. Good and hot now. Let's shut this off. Where's the hose? Oh, okay. I guess I'd take these glasses off. Now quench it with the garden hose. one extreme to the other. You're expanding it with the heat and then you're you're contracting it with the water. So it's getting big and then it's shrinking up. 
And what that does is it turns, turns that rust to powder. Well, like I said, sometimes you got to do this a couple times on these wheels. And then if you can get it to move, you want to get it nice and cooled down. And get your air hammer. Put it on that bolt or the center of the shaft. If it's a kind with a clip on it. Woo, looky there. Look at that, come right off. You can see that old rusty shaft. Zoom in on that. Then clean that up real good and clean up that rim. And put some never seize on there. Never seize that up, put that wheel back on or that shaft or that lawnmower shaft. Now I know a lot of you are probably saying, well you're changing the properties of the metal. You're, you're heating it up and you know, you're changing all this ain't space shuttle. You're not going a thousand miles an hour. It's a lawnmower. It ain't car. It's a lawnmower. You can heat it up, shrink it, ain't gonna hurt nothing. You're not going that fast. It's a lawnmower. Now, what works better is, say you got a part like this, got rusty bolts in it, you had to cut them off. Well, you want to get them bolts out, do the same thing. Heat it up red, this works the best. Heat it up red, and then just drop it in a bucket of water. Fill this with water, the whole bucket, and when you drop it in there, it quenches it real fast. It would work the same on that, but since we can't put the whole tractor in a big vat of water, you gotta use the garden hose. That's why sometimes it takes a couple times. And there's your dinner on removing rusty parts.